want to ask you guys a question. Will's reaction to Chris Rock. Could you say that that was a demonstration of toxic masculinity? Remember when uh, females, the feminist movement was talking about toxic masculinity um, and if a man um, strikes another man or if a man strikes a woman, then they say, it's a joke. Those are just words. You know, you don't respond with violence. If somebody says something to you, it's not justified for you to put your hands on another person or on a woman. They talked about toxic masculinity. Now you have all of these females, these black women, these same black females that say they don't need a man. These same black females that trash black men, that put black men down and promote other men. These same black females are promoting Will Smith and saying that that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you defend black women. That's how you defend your wife, the same wife that cheated on Will, got on national television and talked about her entanglement. Will Smith was in tears on television. He had to deal with the world talking about him because his wife went public with her affair. But Will not one time put his hands on that man that slept with his wife. What about those times when social media went crazy talking about his children, his son and his daughter? Will never put his hands on another man because of that. But Chris Rock told the joke and he had to get up out of his seat, although he laughed at that joke. But he got up out of that seat and went and slapped another man on national television. Now, that slap wasn't too hard because Chris Rock was more like, oh, okay, all right, all right. He took it. Will is much bigger than uh, Chris Rock. He looks a lot stronger than Chris Rock, but Chris Rock took that open hand slap that Will gave to him. But I'm somewhat confused because what happened to toxic masculinity? What happened to all the feminists? Now, I think Will Smith opened the floodgate to violence. Now you're going to have dudes out there that feel that whenever someone says something about their woman, about their wife, that gives them the license to put their hands on another man. That's promoting violence because of all of the, the agreement, the, the, all of these people that claim that Will did the right thing, he protected his wife. This man talked about his wife to his face, although it's just a joke. So that means Anybody that stands up and tell a joke, it's okay for that man to get up and slap him in the face. So I think Will Smith might have started now a trend of men slapping other men in the face. And more than likely, it's going to be men that they know they can beat, right? Chris Rock is smaller than Will Smith. And I, I know it in many cases, size really don't matter because there's some little dudes that can throw. But Chris don't look like a striker. He knew Chris Rock was not going to respond to him. He knew he can get away with that. And the LAPD released a statement saying that Chris refused to file charges, but he can do it later down the line if he chooses to. If he changes his mind, he can file charges. I say file charges 
and sue the pants off a of will. But that means that all of the bullying that's happening on YouTube, Thomas Sotomayor talking about people's mamas, talking about people's dads, talking about other people's women or their wives or their baby mamas, uh, Kwame Brown, Mr. Skinny, uh, threatened to go to Kwame Brown's mother's grave and urinate on it had a video where he was going to a grave and then showed his mother's tombstone so according to the logic that many of y'all are spewing out Kwame Brown now has a right defending his mom's his dead mother's honor he's got a right that when he see Mr. Skinny, he's got a right to slap him down. He's got a right to beat him down. He's got a right to respond violently because Mr. Skinny said something negative about his dead mother. That gives Kwame Brown the right to slap Tommy Sotomayor down. That gives Tommy the right to slap somebody down because they said something about his moms or about his daughters. They're still black women and black girls. So now Will Smith opened the floodgate. And it's gonna be interesting seeing the reaction of dudes now. It's gonna be interesting seeing it if the increase increase of violence among black men is going to occur. I don't think it's going to happen among white dudes. You know, white dudes will look at that as, okay, that's a lawsuit or I'll take that loss. I'll take that L. Right. But to walk up and slap a man on national television, Chris, he didn't respond because usually people would say, well, why would you let that man walk up on you? But the way Will walked up there, you can see he was coming aggressively, but Will was under the impression that Will was going to say something on the mic. That's why he had his hands behind his back. He kind of leaned forward to Will, and Will slapped him and walked away. Now, with an alpha male, that wouldn't have happened. There would have been some scrap in there. And who's to say that one of these dudes are not armed? Who's to say that Chris Rock wasn't armed? And if he was about that life, he could have put Will down right there. Just, just shot up the place. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, that's a bit extreme, but it happens. We're living in the, in the last days. So anything is possible. But now I ha hear all these females talking about defending black women. That's how you're supposed to do it. They're in agreement to this black man slapping this other black man on national television. Whereas before, the response was, they're just words. They're just jokes. You don't hit somebody because they said something. They told a joke. Can't you take a joke? So now it's okay for a comedian to be slapped because he tells a joke that somebody don't like. He told a joke on somebody's wife or somebody's mother. So it's okay for the average everyday Joe to get up out of his seat at a comedy club and go slap that comedian that made a joke about him or his wife in the audience. I think Will Smith opened the floodgate. And I'm quite interested in seeing the results of that. What do you think about that? Feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.